Hi, welcome back to Mats, Mats with Kuma. Remember I told you, I just want to show you my signature, all right? You spell Kuma, K-U-M-E-R. Wow, it's the same yellow as my blouse. Now when I put this K a little bit bigger, it becomes, ah, oh, I'm a cruel Kuma. Sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. And sometimes this K becomes much bigger, the kindness, and this becomes small. Now in maths, all right, maths with Kuma, if you have me real one-to-one, -one, personally you see me, you will see that in me. Now, not for any reason that I will smack you or whatever, but I just want you to have this inner desire to excel, to practice, to get it right. In maths, you need that, my dear, and the kindness. So that's why you have to be firm as well as flexible. So back with me, and I can assure you, you follow me through, you're there. And vectors today in two dimensions will become as easy as ABC, right? You gotta open your mind, open your eyes, to see what you're reading, open your ears to listen to me and get it in. All right, if you're not very clear, go through it again, the video clip, and you will have a better understanding. Now in vectors, we talk about vectors. Have this word in you, victory. All right, when you have no direction, you're lost. Vectors is about Direction, going in direction, having a direction. So it's really good chapter to build up a certain skill like having directions. Let's look at these terminologies that you'll come across. Position vectors, magnitude of vector, equal vectors, negative vectors, zero vector, sum of two vectors, the difference of two vectors, parallel vectors, and the multiplication and once you get attuned to them and I'll then bring you to uh, some work techniques and after which you get to do the drills and you can say hooray you got it all right okay smile everybody yeah great now vectors if I draw a direction of a vector this way this is vector a vector a and if I want a vector 2a all right it will be a length which is double of this all right a double of it I'm just doing an approximation that's called 2a and these two vectors are parallel they're going the same direction all right so that's parallel vector not a problem now if I have a vector B a vector B goes this way that's vector B. When you write a vector, you can write a vector, you can, you can bold it, all right? Write it in bold, dark. Or you can put it this way, all right? With a curl there. Or you can put it this way, depending again. You can put it this way, all right? But I would choose to write sometimes, up, I would write it this way. When I put it in bold, please take note, B, or like this, whatever, so take note of it, that's vectors. Okay, get your understanding. Now this is vector B, all right? I can even put it, this letter A. Now this vector B. Now when I want a vector 2B, what will that be? It'll be a double of it. If I want 3B, it'll be three times of it. If I want a half B, a half B, that's called a half B. All right? That's a half B. Now, if I want a negative B, a negative, so it's going in the same direction, it's the same length, take note, but this is a minus. This is a negative vector. Got it? Good. Now, these are just called vectors. These are parallel vectors, and if you look at it, when we apply a number, a scalar number, in this case is 2, it's 2a. 
in this case is minus I mean we are putting here as a 1 is still the same but it's a negative vector now if you look at vector if I want a vector like this I said hey what is vector a plus vector b all right what do you get is a sum of two vectors vector a plus vector b and you know that vector a is going that way all right we go this way and vector b all right this is vector a and vector b is going this way vector b so this vector plus this vector you get the resultant vector starting point here it goes there and it comes back here so that's the end and it join these two and it say hey this is vector a plus vector b got it all right that's the meaning so what we've done is vector a plus vector b that's a sum of two vectors we've got that right all right now and yes now we're talking about the multiplication of vectors all right now let's look at if i said a hey, what is 3a minus 2b 3a where's vector a this way 3a is three times that length so let me put it this way getting the direction of vectors um, i'm just putting the same that this is how the direction of vector a is right and 3a is gonna be three times the length three times the length two three all right it should be a straight line and i'm gonna erase that because i don't like that all right the length of 3a will be approximately there 3a or maybe i can use this all right 3a vector 3a now and i said 3a plus 2b and 2b b is going this way the direction vector b so i said 2b this is 1b 2b so that's 2b 3a 2b and the starting point was here the ending point is there and i join this and what i've got is this vector which is 3a plus 2b that's called the resultant vector the sum of these two vectors all right and if i want if i draw <clears throat> if i draw another line across i'm afraid if it's parallel to this it's also 3a plus 2b but if i draw a line in this way it's supposed to be parallel but it's the opposite direction then what will it be it'll be a minus 3a and a minus 2b right because it's going in the opposite direction and so you get a minus 3a and a minus 2b right so that's the negative vector now when we talk about vectors it is very basic this knowledge you've got to understand it thoroughly well and from there it becomes a lot more easier if i look at a vector like this i said i have one and a half sorry i have one and a half a minus two b oh one and a half a you look at a and it's in a positive direction so it goes this way a that's one and a half a minus 2b b is going this way so your minus will go that way so if i go that way minus 2b this is the b look at the direction of b the b is this minus 2b will be that way so we draw a minus 2b that way all right that's a minus 2b and so the resultant vector will be this from here to here so this is what we get all right so i'm going to write it out again i'm going to say hey you this blue one is a minus 2b let me write it up properly this is a minus 2b so look at this again 3 over 2a minus 2b gives us this resultant vector and this vector is 3 over 2a minus 2b this is what we get 
right? Okay, good, then you understood them. Now what happens if I change my vector and I said, oi, this is vector P and this is vector Q. All right, P and Q. And you want 2P plus 3Q. What is 2P going to be? It's going to be double the length of this. So 2P, yeah, 2P plus 3Q. 3Q is three times the length. So that's a 3Q, let's assume. All right, 3Q. And so the resultant starting point here, it goes there and it goes there. So you see it's about direction. So your 2P plus 3Q will be this entire length, resulting vector. 2P plus 3Q. Forgive me sometimes when I don't write this marking as I talk to you and I tell you it's a vector, take note of it. All right? Okay, now if I said, hey, this is the I vector, I vector, this is the J vector. What is 2I plus 3J? 2I is double the length. Oh, sorry, let me, because I've got 2I plus 3J, I have 2P plus 3Q, I got it here. Let me tell you what is 2I if they ask you. All right, minus 2J. What do you do? 2I is this way, 2J is a minus. So it's going to go in the opposite direction. So where is the opposite direction? It's going to be this way and twice the length. So let me transfer that. I, I vector, 2I minus 2J, opposite direction, 2J. And so this vector here, 2I, let me put it nicely. You've got 2i here, 2j that way, so your resultant vector will be this, from here to here. So you get 2i minus 2j. Got it? Great. Now, do not get intimidated by vectors. Now we're going to learn about magnitude of vectors, and we're going to come to position vectors. But when we talk about equal vectors, they meant that they are equal in magnitude and they're having the same direction. Like these vectors are equal vectors. They have the, the directions about there, but just in opposite direction. All right? But if you look at this, these are not equal. But if I have another A, this is an equal vector. All right? So if I have an A plus B and I have another vector here, same direction, parallel. This is an A plus B. All right? Equal vectors. Now we've got to be familiar with this and this. And a zero vector means a vector which is just a zero. All right? The magnitude is a zero. And it's just a point, a zero vector. You don't know which way it's going. All right? And we have looked at some, the difference of two vectors. Like if I said, what is A minus B? A is this, that's B. And so we found out the difference. And what you get, A is going this way. B, yep, is this way. But you have a minus B. So look at that. Your B will go this way. That's a minus B. And then your resultant vector is here. A minus B. Got it? So it's the difference of vectors and you get a resultant vector. So you can see when it's A plus B, we got that. A minus B, it became different. They're not the same. A plus B is not the same as A minus B. Alright? So please take note of it. A plus B is not the same as A minus B. The direction is totally different. This is A, that's B. That's A plus B. Here's A, that's minus B. It's A minus B. The difference of vectors. We're now going to go on to magnitude of vectors and position vectors. Alright? So the clarity of it will be clear. 
And as far as position vectors is concerned, I'm going to bring you to coordinate geometry and to help you understand it better. All right? So I would like you to stretch yourself and come back to me shortly. Thank you.